But I have to ask you about something that follows up on uh, an interview I did with Oliver Sacks. Who, he, he told me something that I found astonishing, which is that if you look at the, uh, the brain image of a professional musician, you could usually spot that it's a musician, whereas you can't see that in a mathematician or a visual artist. There's something that happens in musicians, I mean, who've, who've been playing their whole lives, that has rewired their brains. It, do, is that true, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure which data he's actually talking about. There are, so for example, at musicians, there's structural and functional anatomy that you have to think about differently. So the brains of musicians clearly function differently than the brains of non-musicians. So if you actually look at functional patterns of activation, meaning you take VJ, you scan his brain while he's listening to something, and then you take somebody who's never played jazz piano, have them listen to something, the brain activation functional patterns are totally different. The anatomy, the basic core anatomy, meaning gross anatomy, when you look at the contour of the brain, the shape of the, so the salsa and the gyre, those things are relatively consistent. In people that have perfect pitch, though, for example, the uh, primary auditory cortex seems to be actually compact in size, at least in the right hemisphere, for perfect pitch musicians. That's an example of a structural change induced by music or chicken or the egg kind of question. <laughs> right, right. Or you had that ability and that led you to go into music. Right. And so there are anatomical or morphological differences, but I think overall, by and large, the real differences are not they're functional more than they are morphological. 